we are unpacking some adjustments for the purposes of the income statement and here we have the pre-adjustment trial balance on 28 February 2021 and under balance sheet account section we have debtors control we have debtors control and debtors control is 414,800 provision for bad debts is 20,590 and under nominal account section we have bad debts to the value of 54,200 and our topic today is provision for bad debts specifically decreasing provision for bad debts to be specific right adjustments the first one it says right off the long overdue account of peace meet 9000 and the two accounts involved with these adjustments it will be your debtors control and bad debts your bad debts will increase and your debtors control will decrease so in your income statement you have your i'm not going to write the complete income statement but you have a section in your income statement which deals with the operating incomes and you also have a section in your income statement which deals with operating expenses right if you are writing off bad debts that will be recorded under what under operating expenses bad debts the amount given in the trial balance is 54200 and we are writing a further 9,000, writing off a further 9,000. So 54,200, 54,200 plus 9,000 equals to 63,200, equals to 63,200. So our operating expenses will then be 63,200, our bad debts from 54200 because of adjustment number 1 bad debts will go up by 9000 and it will amount to 63200 and with your lead pencil you will then have to note in your question paper that also the debtors control will have to decrease by 9000 because when you are writing off bad debts it means the amount that you are expecting to receive from the debtors will then be reduced because it's obvious now now that this 9000 is written off the business is no longer uh, going to get this this 9000 because it is now recorded under what under bad debts people who are not paying us so therefore it has then become an expense to us which then tells us that our debtors control will decrease by 9000 right and then adjustment number two adjust provision for bad debts to be five percent of debtors then the calculation adjust provision for bad debts to be five percent of debtors the most important thing is for the student to remember that debtors control has been adjusted the mistake that the students make is to forget that debtors control has been adjusted by 9000 it's no longer 414800 so 414800 minus 9000 equals to 405800 that's 405800 so 414,800 minus 9,000 equals to 405,000, which is the latest balance now for debtors control. And 5% of this amount is going to be 405,000 multiplied by 5%. 5% it means provision for bad debts should be 20,290. Provision for bad debts should be 20,290. But let us then look at the current balance for provision for bad debts. Provision for bad debts is currently sitting at 20,590. 
but according to the adjustment, 5% of debtors now is 20,209, which then suggests to us that we need to decrease provision for bad debts. We need to adjust by decreasing it. So now when you are adjusting provision for bad debts by decreasing it, that adjustment becomes an income to the business. So therefore, that adjustment will be recorded under operating income provision for bad debts, for bad debts adjustment. Provision for bad debts adjustment. 20,590 needs to be adjusted to be 20,290. That is an adjustment of 300. So this adjustment of 300 then becomes an income to the business. So we now have the account called provision for bad debts adjustment, which is an income. So it is very important for students to remember that when you are decreasing provision for bad debts, the adjustment is an income. But when you are increasing provision for bad debts, the adjustment is an expense. And in this case, it is decreasing provision for bad debts. We are decreasing it. It is currently sitting at 20,590. And according to the adjustment, it should be 20,290. So we are reducing it from 20,590 to 20,290. And that adjustment of 300 trends becomes an income to the business. So in your income statement, it will be recorded under operating income. So this then addresses a question which is normally asked by most students. Why is it provision for bad debts adjustment will appear under operating incomes? In some activities, provision for bad debts adjustment will appear under operating expenses. Then the answer is very simple. Provision for bad debts adjustment can either be increasing it or decreasing it. When you are increasing provision for bad debts, the adjustment becomes an expense. But when you are decreasing provision for bad debts, the adjustment becomes an income. So increasing provision for bad debts will appear under operating expenses and decreasing provision for bad debts, the adjustment will appear under operating incomes right thank you very much